So if you don't have a copy of one of these I sent out earlier, then I can send it out to you again. So the, so the weekly planner is, is really important that, you know, you take time and, and plan weekly. So sometimes you've got to readjust your sales. The original curriculum I put in place for you guys had to change a few times um, beyond our control. Um, for the most part, okay, yeah, we navigate the challenges you've got and make sure we've got one eye on those. Um, but equally in saying that, like I mentioned earlier before, you know, who was to legislate, the lockdown was going to come in again and the gains were going to go. Um, so that creates its own challenges. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that we need to make sure when you start playing again, it's not about ticking over. You're, you're elite athletes, okay? It's not about ticking over. It's about when you play again, you hit the ground running, okay? You're with the academy because you're elite athletes. And it's really important that as an elite athlete, it's not just about ticking go or like ticking a box and saying, well, I've done my 5K run. It's about going for the PB. So when you've got the weekly planner, guys, Sometimes you've got to readjust the sales because normally you've got the game here. Now there's no game. So we're going to try and do what we can to simulate the game within the rules and regulations, be it a one-on-one -on -one or be it mental rehearsal, be it watching a game. But the idea, and there was a great point made earlier about how much we can sort of focus on at one time. And that's the idea um, behind the weekly planner. So what you're doing here, with the exception, of obviously, you know, if you've got school, apply yourself to the best ability if you've got college work and around that it's you sort of planning what you can do so okay what might change if there was a game sunday what might change your monday training and this is where you liaise with the coaches um, based on where you are so here maybe you do your olympic lifting and plyometric um, but you focus on, on, on doing the technique as well as, and then you can do also a technique session, um, a mental skills session. So when you do what you do, you've got intense focus and you compartmentalize the sessions and you, you know I'm all about training as you play. So you, you, you condense the sessions, um, particularly if you're training on your own. So you condense it to you know 40 minutes or so. so you might do 40 minutes here, Olympic lifting, Obviously, if you're sort of young, you know an Olympic lift and you can practice doing like, for example, a stick, just the technique. So when you get old, you can do it properly. If you're at the age where you've got a strength base, depending on your strength base, once again, this is a fit with the fitness coach, like acing with the fitness coach, like, you know, plyometric, jumping on box, jumping down. It's all about sort of where you are and sort of incrementally improving that. So can I lift more? Can I sort of move that forward? Um, if you're at the age, you can do the Olympic lifting, plyometric the same. And then you did mental skills training, the stuff I've sent out to you, visualization, getting in the zone, your greatest hits, putting a song, um, your favorite song, your favorite tune, and sort of cutting a greatest hits show reel. Um, you know, Tuesday, um, you, you, you know, based on your training being periodized. So then you're very clear on your weekly planner, uh, what you're doing. Um, and here, then you're monitoring what I showed you last week, the profile, your progress. Okay, where am I progressing? Uh, Wednesday, I'm gonna practice my left foot, my right foot. Um, but realistically, um, what you need to be doing every day, um, realistically, um, what you need to be doing every day is, is a segment um, on each compartment. So you, you need to be doing a fitness session at some point. You need to be doing a mental skills session, a technical session, or a tactical. The fitness might be the fitness test, Olympic lifting, or football functional fitness. The mental skills could be visualization. The um, tactical might be watching a game analysis. Um, and, and this is depending on the time you've got to dedicate yourself to it. Because I know some of you got school and college, and I'm not suggesting for one minute um, you don't have that as, as a priority. But the point being here, guys, is that, you know, you're really well organized. Um, and that's the sort of key uh, to it. Um, you know, as I said before, you know, are you training hard enough with the exception of, 
we don't want to be over training. You need to license the coaches, get a hiring monitor. Listen, you know, Tony, you know what he's all about. You know, you don't need me to tell you. It, it speaks for itself, the players, and you've seen, you know, um, the players who, who sort of come through and some players who have been discarded from other teams. But for me, if a player gets discarded from another team, there might be a number of reasons, but it takes a lot, not just to turn the spot the talent. It takes a lot to turn the player around because that player arrives um, being rejected from another team and the rejection is a strong emotion that can put someone out of the game. The player presents with the habits of the other team. Maybe the other team had a losing mentality. We have to change that because at the academy we believe that the players that we work with, um, we aim to fulfill the potential. That's the sort of key, winning sort of mindset. So there's many things, and that's sort of not, don't want to disrespect any other team. I have a huge amount of respect for the team, other coach, it's not a problem. Just saying that, you know, they're the things. So the, the old saying is important, you find the way. If not, you'll find, there's plenty of people find an excuse. Plenty of people. And that's the sort of key thing, guys. Um, you know, planning a day um, is a sort of important thing. So before we sort of open the forum again, and I'll the forum, how many activities are you doing every day that are improving your football? I want you to think about that for a moment. How many activities a day are you doing, um, guys, that are, um, you know, improving your football? You need to sort of think about that. Um, and I know it's not easy. We talked about last week and, you know, I fully appreciate all that. Um, and there's going to be times where it's, it's, it's tough. Absolutely. And that's what we're all here for. Um, we're, we, we have, we're one big family, the academy. We look after each other, look out for each other. So, you know, but think about the activities. Um, there's people who will say on your journey, you can't. I said before, the ones who said, who generally say you can't, the ones who are scared that you probably will. So going back to what was said earlier, which was a great point about how many things you can um, focus on, well, precisely what we mentioned earlier, there's only something you can focus on at one time, the brain being the way it is. Now think about things this week, the five things, so five targets for this week that you, you must do to give yourself the best chance to be the best footballer you can be. You know, wherever you end up playing for, you know, a college team in, in the USA, whether you end up playing MPL, I mean, A League, whether you end up playing for Rome, it's all irrelevant in, uh, to the point that's about you being the best you can be. You arrive at the academy at a certain level and you graduate better than the person who arrived, not just footballing wise, um, but in many other areas too, because we want to transfer these skills. You know, strong, confident, motivated um, young people who don't live their life in, in fear, who live in a confident way, um, who've got the confidence to do things in academic, in business, in sport. That's a big, big thing, you know. And, and here, five things you need to be the best chance as a footballer uh, this week um, and think, okay, well, you know, I'm going to build upon what I'm doing already anyway. Already there's been some great questions asked. How do I get in the zone? Well, I've given you my take on it. Um, you know, yeah, get as many clips as you can or when you're playing well, put some good music to it. That could be a job for this week. The show reel of great performances. Um, you know, if you can't get a show reel together, then you'll have to just mentally um, go through it. That's the sort of key. Um, you know, um, you can videotape your training and analyze it, send it to Tony, who can have a look at it and say, Tony, what do you think? I mean, left foot, right foot. Uh, or the other coaches' fitness. You can do your fitness test. You can record your Olympic lifting and show the coaches. Um, these are things you can do. Um, yeah, it might sound like overload um, to a point, but it's about managing it. It's not about coasting and sort of living on easy streets. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to chance. If you leave it to chance, um, then your chances are less than what they would be if you sort of take control of the situation to the best of your ability, uh, which is key. So what I'm going to do now is open up again. Uh, we'll go from there. Um, so...